to get started today, we are going to lie on our backs, placing our feet up against the wall, hip distance apart. We can lie down. We will start first with simple ab exercise, ab prep. We're gonna flex up and come back down. Let's try to have that imprinted position where we tilt that pelvis back, trying to have that low back against the floor or close to it. So let's flex up and come back down. And remember with the breath, we exhale as we come up, inhale lower. And with my eyes, I'm trying to look forward, try not to look up. We want to be bringing everything together. So not letting that head lag behind. Here, two more, two, and last one, one. Okay, from here, we're going to do ab prep again, but this time we're gonna flex up, reach right, left, so a little bit into the side bend there, obliques, and then you can come back down. So let's flex up, reach right, left, come down, and again. Good, so coming up, reach, reach, and down. We still wanna be steady and stable here, so definitely does not need to be a big reach. Good, we're halfway. Okay, last one. And come down. All right, from here we're gonna do the hundreds. So instead of having both arms coming down at the same time, we are gonna alternate right and left. So it might be a little different. It's gonna feel different, but different is good for our bodies, right? So let's flex up and we'll do this for 30 seconds. So start with either arm up and down, small vertical pulses. We're alternating and we're just trying to stay steady and stable here. This is an isometric exercise where we're just trying to stay lifted in the abs. And traditionally with the breath, we try to inhale for five counts and then exhale out for five counts. Okay, and come down. Now we'll do arm circles. I'm gonna scoot out just because I don't have that much space on this side of the wall. So we are gonna do 10 in each direction. Starting with our hands by our ears, we're going to come back as we reach the arms overhead, then flex forward as the arms come down by our hips. And then we'll go the other way for 10. So arms by our ears as we come up overhead, flex up and again, reach and around. So we inhale here as those arms come by our ears, exhale, circle around. Really trying to make that deliberate contraction as you bring those arms down and you flex up. Two, last one. One, okay, other way. So around and then flex up. So exhale as we come up, inhale as we circle around. For three, two, last one, and one. Good, okay, let's scoot back over here. This time we are gonna do one more exercise in this position. So arms are gonna be by our ears or they could be by your face here. And you're going to flex up, come back down. So if you've done some of my other ones, you know this is pretty challenging because we've got that long lever. So let's do that for 10. So flexing up, coming back down. We're trying to exhale as we come up, inhale lower, nice and slow. 
you want to be controlled with that lower. Two, last one, one. Okay, let's go to a different position here. So we're gonna come right up against the wall. So legs are gonna be extended up. With the arms, have them up towards the ceiling and we're just gonna flex up and come back down. We're gonna do a three second hold while we do that. So flex up and hold for one, two, three, come back down and again. One, two, three, and down. So we do this similar on the mat, but you have to hold up your own legs <laughs> in the full version. So for this, the wall takes the weight of our legs and we're just focusing on the abs here. Good, we got three more. And two, and last one. Good, okay, scoot yourself a little bit closer if you need to. Now for the next one, you're gonna start flexed up again, similar to the arm circles. You're gonna bring your hands up overhead, flex up and reach. So reaching up through and come back up. And then we'll go the other way. So coming down, Flex up. Let's start flexed up, reaching towards our feet. Come down, reach overhead, flex up. Through and up. So we're using that exhale as we reach the feet and then inhale lower. To me, I feel this lower into the abs when the feet are like this, we really are able to flex up more than just when our feet were bent with our feet on the wall. Okay, other way. Down and up. Arms come down, flex up. Try to make it smooth. Really feel that mind-body connection here of the muscles that are working to help you do this. Last one. Good, and come down. The last one we're gonna do for 10, we're gonna reach up, right, come down, left, come down. So we'll be five on each side. So reach up towards the left foot first. Come back down. Right. So just a tiny little oblique twist here. We got four more. Four. Three. Two. Last one. One. Okay, from here we're gonna go a little bit more into the lower abs so you can come away from the wall. And you want enough space that you could lower your legs without hitting that wall. So I'm gonna come over here. Now we're gonna go on our forearms. <laughs> so once you're here, we are going to do a bicycle. Now the simpler version is to do just one leg. We go tabletop, extend up, and lower down. You do five on each leg. For, up for the challenge, you could do both legs. So reaching out, we go tabletop, extend up, and lower and then repeat. So we'll do that for 10. You can choose whichever one you like. So starting out, tabletop, extend, nice and slow, lower, good. So inhale here, exhale as you lower down. You just wanna go as low as is comfortable for you. You don't want to be feeling it into your low back. If the lower you go, you really feel that into your low back quite a bit. Don't go that low. Just choose a comfortable range for you. The whole thing here is being slow, controlled, with good form. 
Okay, bring your feet down. The next one we'll do is dropping both legs from up here and lower down. Lift them back up and lower. So the modified version would be to do one leg at a time. You'll do five one way and then five the other way. So your choice, whichever one you like to do. I'm gonna do both legs. We're gonna lower and lift. And lower nice and controlled. Lift back up. So this works hip flexors quite a bit. It's not just abs here. So if you do any kind of running or sports performance things where um, you know strong hip flexors are important, great exercise to do. I follow a lot of Instagram pages that talk about sports performance and I'm like, they don't even realize they're doing Pilates. <laughs> a lot of the exercises that they suggest, so that's pretty cool. Okay, bring the legs together. The last one we're gonna do here, I'm gonna scoot out so I have a little more space. You are going to be bringing the legs out. So out, open, close, bring them back together. So the modified version I'd say for this is bring your legs slightly out, open, close, bring them back in. So we're just modifying the distance away from our body. So we'll do that for 10. Now let's just do a quick little hip flexor stretch. So just coming up into a bridge. I know that can be quite a bit here. So just feeling that stretch through the hip flexors. Okay, and coming back down. Okay, so let's begin. Coming back onto our forearms. Legs are, we try to put our feet about the same height as the knees here. We're gonna reach out, open, close, bring it back together. Try to feel length through the feet here. Pointing those feet. I'm really trying to keep the abs in and engaged here. We'll do two more. And last one. Good, okay, from here we're gonna do a side plank. It's our last exercise. So I'm gonna start with my feet up against the wall coming on to this side. So I'm on my left side right now, and then my elbow is right underneath my shoulder. Really stack those hips right on top of each other, and then my hand is gonna be on my hip here. We are just gonna lift up. We're gonna hold for one, two, three, and come back down, and we'll do that three times on each side. So, so much core work here. This is really obliques that are helping us get up there. So lifting up for one, two, three, come back down. And again, lift up. Down, and then last one. Up. And down, good. Okay, now we're gonna go the other side. So I'm on my right side, my elbow is right underneath my shoulder, and then my legs are directly in one long line. You can place your hands on your hips, and we're just gonna lift up from right here. So lifting up, three, two, one, come back down. And again, come up, three, two, one, come back down, one, lift up, and come back down. Okay, you are all set. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the workout. Please let me know if you have any questions or something didn't feel right need some modifications, I'd be happy to help you with that. Thank you again so much and I'll see you next time.